Uh, the bulls judged on his aggression, his meanness, his speed, and his willingness to stay engaged with the fighter. The horses at this level, they know their job as well, and some of them get wild in the shoots and want to hurt you in there, so I try to stay as calm as I can be and be a horseman in the bucking shoots. First rodeo I ever entered, got on a calf, and I got bucked off and stepped on, and uh, yeah, it was the first time I've been to the ER too, so. My plan setting out was to win 10 world titles, and I uh, you know, got two under my belt, hopefully a third one this year. I wouldn't trade you know, what I do for anything in the world. A rodeo's really given me an opportunity to see a lot of our great country that I probably wouldn't have seen. I, I don't know. I don't know if I would have gone farther than Montana. You know, it's a big state, so. It's definitely a young man's sport, so we might as well do it now. Right here in Tri Cities, and we are at the Tri Cities Outlaws hockey team. We even got to visit the Yakima Indian Village, and they were able to teach us a little bit of dancing. It was pretty awesome. Hey, everybody, this week on Strapping In, we're going to Lewiston, Idaho. We're going to go to the Roundup where they call it She's Wild. That's right, it's going to get a little frisky. We get to check out JJ behind the scenes and see his job as a rodeo entertainer. You can see, you can't be afraid to ride the animals. I think it's a good idea if we use a bigger gun. Try it. You just might love it.